this is a warning line which is drawn as per the method one hello navigator in this video i am going to talk about the two methods of crossing safety control that is suggested by np232 and the ocimf guidelines so while we are using this this uh, method one and method two is applicable to do the navigation safely here between method one and method two the main difference is the setting of safety control method one says you should set the safety control same as safety depth whichever safety depth calculated safety depth you find you should put it same value once you set the safety depth value as safety control value EGDIS will automatically choose that particular safety control for you and if the particular safety control is not available then it will automatically choose the next deeper contour uh, which is available for that particular area so you will expect an alarm while you cross the safety contour and further to that you will not expect any alarm that is why it separately says that draw an alarmable warning line where you find the depth is less than your safety depth value let's say this is 20 meter safety contour and this is 14 meter 13 meter 13 meter 12 meter 10 meter like this draft here so if you found that your safety depth is 14 meter you should draw an alarmable warning line 14 meter and below 14 meter all these areas so that once you cross the safety contour you still can monitor your passage to remain within the safe water only which is this part okay if we discuss method 2 exactly here maybe we'll understand in a better way method 2 says do not uh, set your safety contour same as your safety depth rather you check the safety contour available in that particular area and how can you check you can check in the egg dish of course so if you find that your safety depth is 14 meter as per calculation but here in the egg dish you don't find the 14 meter contour rather you find the nearest lower one available contour line is 10 meter so method 2 says choose the lower one which is 10 meter here safety contour is 10 meter but safety depth is not 10, 10 meter here the safety depth will be different safety depth depth will remain 14 meter here there is no significant use of 20 meter contour there will be no alarm at all as you have set the safety contour as 10 meter so let us change the scenario a little bit this is 20 meter next here is let's say 10 meter so the color from here will be colored light green so above that this part will remain white so by observing the situation you can see that you are still in safe water by the color you can understand like this way 14 meter 13 meter 12 meter this water is not safe for you as per your calculation right let's say like this draft here as per your safety depth calculation this 12 meter is not safe for you in fact this 13 meter also not safe for you your safety depth is 14 meter as per your calculation so in that case you have to draw a warning line 14 meter and below 14 meter okay so that once you touch this once your vessel touch this area it will generate alarm basically we will get the alarm a little bit before if you use the look ahead function as per your vector line once you get the alarm you will not further go in into this area rather you will follow the safe water which is more than 14 meter and what is the benefit of this you will not get unnecessary alarm which was uh, for the case of method one we were getting the first alarm at uh, crossing 20 meter contour line for this case this will not be happen at all 
the first alarm which will be expected here is touching this warning line after this warning line you must not go further inside of this warning line as your uh, safety depth you have considered is 14 meter so that is the benefit that you are not getting the unnecessary alarm at all so that's it that's the main difference between the method one and method two of safety contour setting i believe this particular geographical area that is port kasim outer anchorage area in pakistan this area is best option to make you understand this method one and method two as you can see this is the 20 meter control line and this is the 10 meter control line okay 10 meter and this one is 20 meter and at present the setting is like this shallow contour 10 meter safety depth 13 meter safety control also 13 meter and deep contour 30 meter so as the setting of uh, safety contour is 13 meter but here there is no 13 meter contour you can see after 12.2 14.1 in between there is no 13 meter contour line here also this is very uncommon i never saw a 13 meter contour on any egg this there is no 15 meter contour line okay though the setting was 13 meter but egg this automatically have chosen 20 meter contour line as safety contour line once the vessel will come here or touch this line egg this will generate alarm and this is as per method one this alarm will come for this particular setting but still we have safe water to navigate how far we can go easily this is up to the safety setting safety depth setting which is 13 meter and here you can see 12.2 12.8 so still 14 meter here and we don't want to go beyond this 13 meter this is a warning line which is drawn as per the method one here also you can see this is the warning line this side so we don't want to go beyond 13 meter that is why this is the warning line drawn like this way okay hope you understood that this is as per the uh, method one setting now if we want to choose here method two then what we have to do we have to check first what is the available depth contour here one is 20 meter and the other one is 10 meter and as per our calculation our safety depth is 13 meter so here to avoid unnecessary alarm as per the method 2 guidelines we have to choose safety depth as 10 meter which is this one so let's change the setting the safety depth will not be changed at all so that is 13 meter will still remain 13 meter safety contour let's change it to 10 meter and you can see the changes here already this color gradient already shifted to this part this is the 10 meter safety contour now if you check it closely this method 2 says due to your present setting you will not get any alarm while you cross the 20 meter then you can safely navigate without any alarm and the first alarm you may expect using your warning line which is same here the warning line will be as per your safety depth setting which is 13 meters so above 13 meter you can safely navigate you will get the alarm if your um, look ahead function touches this line or other way can be said that even if you do not use any uh, look ahead function once your vessel touches this line it will generate alarm for you you are not intend to go inside any further as your calculated safety depth is 13 meter that is why it is no go area for you and you will safely navigate only within the dressed channel so i hope uh, this is understood and i hope this is helpful as well if you want to read about read about it further then go through the np232 and ocimf guidelines at the end of this video i am showing you my understanding what i have written in a paper uh, that may also help you further so that's all for today and i hope to meet you in next video thanks for watching this 
and don't forget to share if you get benefited from this video